First, download the video editor application. The link is in the video description. Select the folder where you want to download it. Open the download folder or the folder you selected earlier. Extract the file, right click, then if you're using Windows 11, select Extract All. If you're using an older version of Windows, you can install an application like 7-Zip or similar and choose Extract To. Open the AMV Converter folder and double-click MovieConvertTool.exe. If it doesn't open, click VC Redist and verify first to install Visual C++. However, it is usually already installed on Windows PCs. If your watch is already connected to the computer, uncheck Copy Video File 2, but if this option doesn't appear, just skip it. Click Input File, then find the video you want to convert. As an example, I'll use an .mp4 file. Click Output File, then choose where to save the converted video. Here I'll save it to the desktop. We click on the file name, click the yellow gear icon. If we didn't click the file earlier, this gear icon will be gray and unclickable. Then select the screen resolution supported by your smartwatch. Connect the smartwatch to the computer. In my computer, find USB drive. Here, mine is in drive S, but it could also be in another drive. If the USB drive doesn't appear, make sure the connector is clean and that mass storage is selected in the smartwatch settings. Double-click USB drive. Open the demo video folder. Right-click Properties. Go to Details. Then check the frame width and height. In this case, it is 368 by 448 pixels. Go back to the converter application. Select 368 by 448 pixels. If it fails, you can try selecting another resolution. For image quality, choosing middle is more than enough. You can also select low if you want to reduce the file size. Click OK. Click begin or this icon. If it doesn't work, click the file name first. It will automatically play back because playback after converting was checked earlier. Now, transfer the file to the watch. If the watch wasn't connected earlier, you can plug it in now. USB drive, demo video. Since I selected the output file on the desktop earlier, I just need to drag it into the demo video folder and we're done. I tested it on the DT3 Ultra and DT Watch X and it worked fine. If the video is not sound when opening the videos menu on the smartwatch, try renaming the converted file to match the default video name. First, rename the default video file to something else. Then, rename the converted file using the default video name. This is because some older DT Nober 1 smartwatches only support two video files and can only detect files with the default video names. However, if the video is detected right away, you don't need to rename it. As a note, if the original video is in landscape or portrait format, the output will be stretched or appear distorted, like in this example. If you want a better result, you need to crop the video to the correct aspect ratio first. You can do this by installing the Crop, Cut and Trim Video Editor app or any other video editor. Just select Crop, choose the video you want to edit, in the Ratio section, Enter the resolution that matches the default a demo video resolution. Adjust the cropping position, and once the video is cropped, send it to your PC and convert it to AVI as before. Thank you for visiting the Godoga Mix channel. Hope this helps someone.